Kun Kasit, dear Thai friends, fellow Singaporeans, ladies and gentlemen. It's with great pleasure that I welcome Kun Kasit and members of the, of the Thai delegation to the ninth coordinating meeting of the Thailand-Singapore Civil Service Exchange Program, or CSEC. Less than two months ago, Kun Kasit paid me a great honor by visiting my constituency during our National Day celebrations. Kunka said, I'm delighted to welcome you back to Singapore again. And we're doubly delighted that Mrs. Jintana Piromia is able to come as well this time. The relations between Thailand and Singapore go back a long time. The bronze elephant statue located at the old Pub Singapore Parliament House is a symbol of an old friendship. It was presented by King Chulalongkorn to the people of Singapore in 1871, during his first overseas visit as king. King Chulalongkorn developed such a fondness for Singapore that he bought Hurricane House, a mansion at Orchard Road, to stay in whenever he was in Singapore. And the Thai embassy now stands in its place on that land as an enduring reminder of the strong ties between our two countries. For indeed, we share so much in common. Reflecting the strong bilateral ties, there has been steady exchange of visits this past year. Earlier this year, we were honored to host Her Royal Highness Princess Sibrin Dawn's visit to Singapore at our President's invitation. Prime Minister Abhisit made his introductory visit to Singapore in June. Besides reaffirming the long-standing friendship and excellent state of relations between our two countries, Prime Minister Abhisit Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong agreed to forge a, close, a closer partnership and address challenges confronting the region together. PM Lee and I will be in Hue Hin next week for the ASEAN Summit. We look forward to it. And we also look forward to welcoming Prime Minister Abhisit and Kun Kasit back to Singapore for the coming APEC meeting in November. Our economic relationship has grown from strength to strength. In 2008, Singapore was Thailand's fifth largest trading partner, while Thailand was Singapore's ninth largest trading partner. The Singapore-Thailand Enhanced Economic Relationship, STEER, provides a good platform for the enhancement of bilateral ties. And plans are being made for the third STEER meeting to be held in Singapore soon. Our defence relations are firm and strong. The Singapore Armed Forces and the Thai Armed Forces have frequent interactions in participating in major multilateral exercises such as Exercise Co Tiger and Exercise Cobra Gold. Thailand is part of the Malacca Straits Patrol, contributing to the security of a strategic maritime route. And we thank the Thai government and the Thai people for providing valuable training facilities for the Singapore Armed Forces in Thailand. Both countries are committed to strengthening bilateral defence ties. Our foreign ministries enjoy a strong working relationship within ASEAN and at regional and international forums. Despite domestic difficulties, Thailand in the chair ensured that the ASEAN agenda was progressed in the last one and a half years, especially the implementation of the ASEAN Charter, including the formation of the ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights at the coming ASEAN Summit. For ASEAN to play a central role in shaping the regional architecture, we ourselves must be strong and united. We also look forward to Thailand's hosting of the Asia Middle East Dialogue Ministerial Meeting next year. The strong people-to-people -people relations between our countries are based on shared history, culture and bloodlines. A disproportionate number of Singaporeans visit Thailand every year, which is one of our favourite destinations, and we receive just as many Thai visitors to Singapore. With the emergence of budget airlines, fares have come down, making business and leisure, making business and travel leisure, and leisure travel more affordable. The Thai community in Singapore has grown over the years and contributes significantly to Singapore's development and to our good relations with Thailand. Since its inception in 1997, CSEP has helped to foster strong relations
between the civil services of Thailand and Singapore. And these institutional ties make our bilateral relationship more robust. They forge bonds of personal friendship, which enable our joint response to challenges and opportunities more effective. And the formation of the new environmental cooperation cluster in CSAP this year is timely. The theme of this year's CSAP is Thailand and Singapore, enhancing civil service coordination for effective responses to complex regional challenges. To overcome difficult challenges like maritime security, terrorism, climate change, and environmental protection, we have to cut across traditional boundaries, which separate the work of various governmental agencies and across geographical borders as well. The introduction of cross-sectoral discussions in this year's CSEP will allow delegates to exchange ideas in a broader way. We need a fresh approach in our response to challenges which respect neither departmental nor geographical divisions. The ninth CSEP will build on the good work that has been done in previous years. I wish all the participants not only a productive session, but one that is also enjoyable and intellectually satisfying. Thank you very much.